Something YouTuber said about having a clear direction on what to do with your art, but I still don't know exactly what my per uh, what exactly my purpose of drawing is. You don't uh, you don't need uh, that's also a what is it? What do you call it? That's also a misconception, right? You don't always need to have a purpose or a goal. Just go for you know creativity. Uh, creativity or love or whatever passion right just go for a simple feeling right look uh, I don't know maybe you see a face right and just focus on what that makes you feel right let's say this is angry okay you saw a picture on Pinterest angry okay just pick that simple idea, right? Angry. Don't focus on drawing the nose right or drawing the eyes correct. Focus on this, right? Or if it's... Uh, let's say peaceful. Focus on that, right? I mean, you don't... Uh, that's a delusion, right? Because uh, even though you have a purpose and goals in life and all that, uh, you can't always breathe, right? Uh, there, there will be some times you are not on your purpose. There will be some times maybe your body is tired. There will be some times maybe your you know creativity is not up. Uh, so yeah, don't don't put. Too much pressure on yourself, right? But the basic advice I can give on that is, you know, uh, the, what is it? St stop looking for that big purpose, right? Or that, that grand plan or something like that. It's just, you know, let's say you are going to draw a face. Just focus on one simple idea, right? It can be the emotion, right? The emotion. The vibe, or it could be just you know shape practice. You know you could just do a shape practice. Okay, I'm. Uh, you you could say I'm focusing on shape practice, or it could be you know rhythm lines, or it could be shading, whatever it is, right? I mean, it's also nice if you can you know make a schedule, right? Let's say you want to get good at drawing faces. And this is, let's say, this is the month. Maybe you divide the month into, you know, different weeks. Let's say first week you, uh, I don't know, study structure, right? Second week you study emotion, expression, and another week you study, I don't know, shading. Yeah, you can just, you know, make your own schedule, go for it. But this is not necessary, right? It's all about, you know, expressing your, whatever you want to express. Also the thing TK said, you know, it's a, uh, it's a struggle. It's like, you know, I, I always talk about it first thing in my courses, right? It's like 8% of it is your vibe or let's say you, right? 80% of it is you. 20% of it is craft or mechanics or how you draw, how you paint, all that stuff, right? But, you know, if the vibe isn't there, uh, even though if you know, draw, know how to draw or know how to paint or sculpt, it's like, uh, you know, when I'm not feeling it, uh, my lines go like, you know, I have all that doubt, you know, lines start, uh, or when I'm so tired, you know, lines go like this. I don't even have energy in my arm, right? It's like doing these weird lines, like drawing these weird shit, you know, or, or, or when I'm stuck in my head, right? I'm always overthinking about it. 
it's like, oh, is this good? Is this right? Is this bad? And then, you know, that overthinking leads to, you know, there's this saying, there's an imp in your mind, you know, that shit talker, always finding a fault, <laughs> talking in the back of your head, right? It's like, mm, that nose, I don't know, man, that nose is kind of shitty. Yeah? I don't know, man. And if you keep listening to that voice, if you give in, give in to that fear or doubt, uh, before you know it, it will convince you to quit art, right? <laughs> so that that's the, that's this part I'm talking about, right? The mental mastery, emotional mastery, keep your mind focused, uh, ignoring all the weird voices you hear in your mind or weird thoughts that pop in in your mind or, you know, uh, if you want to express an emotion, you want to get into that emotion, right? If you want to express a peaceful emotion, even like for one minute or two minutes, right? You, you could be able to, I mean, you should be able to get into that emotion because, you know, you can't give what you don't have, right? So you need to feel that first and then express it with the, you know, drawing, painting, uh, sculpting. And that's where gesture drawing comes in, right? Because gesture drawing is fast, uh, loose. Uh, even though if you don't have extreme emotional flexibility, you can just go, go into an emotion for like, you know, a minute. And then, you know, do a gesture drawing, capture that emotion, capture the rhythm of that emotion. And then, you know, you can come back and focus on the rest of it, the structure, all that stuff. So yeah, this part is so important. Uh, how you deal with stress, how you deal with the struggle, because you know, it happens, it's all, it always happens. Uh, sometimes it's a struggle, sometimes you can't, I don't know, for example, you can't, let's say you can't fix the neck or uh, I don't know, it doesn't feel, like, uh, feel right. Sometimes it's a technical problem, you know, sometimes it's per uh, perspective is off, sometimes the anatomy is wrong. You look at the drawing, but it's like, you know, something's off, but you can't tell it. That's the worst, in my, uh, in my opinion. Sometimes it's a vibe problem, you know, sometimes you draw something, but, you know, the emotion is not there, or it's not expressive enough, or, you know, not lively enough, whatever. Uh, yeah, but this part is so important. But this is not something you do overnight. It's like, uh, you do this part over a long period of time. Uh, you know, how uh, how do you get yourself into state before drawing, right? It's not like you were in a bus traveling somewhere and you just got out of the bus and instantly started drawing, right? It's, it doesn't uh, work like that. You know, it's, it's like, you know, uh, spend some time, like five minutes, just chill out, right? Uh, you know, listen to some inspirational music, whatever it is. Uh, the best thing you can do is to shut your mind off, right? It's easier said than done, but uh, yeah, this is a whole topic, right? N not gonna get get into this too much, but yeah, maybe you do meditation, maybe you do, you walk in the park, whatever it is for you. But uh, anything creative, right? When it comes to anything where you express yourself, right? It's like it could be dancing, it could be music, it could be sculpting, whatever it is, right? right? Even uh, even when you are talking to your girlfriend or fiance, whatever it is, right? Uh, how you express what you, are, what you are trying to say, this part kind of determines all of it, right? So, for example, take two artworks, right? Uh, this is a, they are both the same idea. Okay. Let's say a sci-fi, sci-fi robot. Okay. So which one would you buy or which skin would you buy in a game? You can think about it like that. So let's say first one is Let's say first one has a great vibe, right? Great vibe, very expressive. 
uh, lots of different colors, I don't know, something like that. Uh, maybe there's some contrast. When you look at it, you just feel something, right? It hits you hard. And as opposed to there's the same idea, but it's too technical, right? It's perfect, right? It could be perfect technically, right? Every line is perfect. Uh, the lighting is perfect. Shading is perfect. Anatomy is perfect. Everything is perfect. But there's if there's no vibe, if it doesn't make you, if it doesn't make you feel something, this is just a good photograph, right? So probably most people would pick this one, right? Because even if you think you are the most rational person in the uh, universe, the rationality depends on emotionality. Did I write one? Emotion. Emo. <laughs> uh, emotionality. Uh, yeah. It's most of the time we like we see something, we feel something, and then we rationalize that decision. Right? You pick one of these, but you decide it the instant you see it. Right? And then we rationalize uh, the decision we make. Right? It's uh, how do I know this? So there is this experiment, not not experiment, but there's this dude. Uh, he lost. He I think he had some kind of stroke or something. He loses his ability to feel. Right? He basically loses the emotion part of his brain. Right? He, he can't feel uh, any emotion. It's completely gone. And then uh, people think uh, if you don't have any emotion, you know, it's easier to make choices, right? But it's, it's the other way around. This dude goes into daily life. He can't even make simple decisions, right? He just gets uh, lost in data, lots of different options, lots of pros and cons. He can't even make the simplest decisions, right? So even the most rational person, uh, you know, decides emotion. So especially when it comes to creative stuff, uh, what you want to do is to hit that emotional part of the brain, right? Emotional limbic system. So most of the times when I look at the Pinterest, you know, most of the things that uh, affect me or influence me is like sketches, right? Because, you know, a sketch full of emotion is much effective than, you know, just a perfectly rendered but soulless uh, drawing. So I'm not saying sketch is better, but, you know, uh, this is what I'm talking about. So, yeah, what you can do is, you know, make it a habit uh, before uh, before you start drawing or whatever, uh, to get into that good mood, right? And there are there are also the end level advices I can give. You know, uh, these you probably heard on YouTube all the time in pretty much every uh, video about confidence. You know, draw the lines like a you know like a sword cutting paper, right? Draw one straight line, confident lines, all that stuff. Obviously, uh, this looks better than this, right? Because uh, if you just experimented it, uh, just try to ex uh, express an emotion with a line, right? So you tell me, what does this line say? Or what does this line say? Or what does this line say? Rage, right? Right, or what does this line say? It's like confusion, right? Don't know where to go, right? Should I go this way, this way, this way? Or constantly changing directions? Like, you know, 
I mean, uh, I'm not saying you you shouldn't use this line, but unless that's the purpose, right? So even your lines, uh, you know, tells about or gives a lot of expression. Uh, yeah, this is uh, either the last time I've done. This is like the beginner mistake, right? Because, or instead of beginner mistake, let's call it when you are in doubt or when you are confused, when you are, when you don't know what to do. When you can you can think about it like walking, right? Let's say you are this dot and you are walking on the paper, and if you don't know where to go, you would be like looking this way and then going this way. Should I go this way, this way, going back, backtracking again, going up, down, right? Unless this is the purpose, uh, drawing the face like this, <laughs> kind of weird, right? So yeah, this is a, a part of it is habit, right? Uh, you know, installing your, uh, good habits, you know, fluid lines, you can do these practices. Let's say you are gonna sketch something, right? And so what happens when you don't know what to do, right? Maybe you are designing something and you are not sure about what's gonna happen, right? And you know, you are doing some loose sketches, maybe doing something like this. That, that's also okay, right? I mean, you are exploring, you know, putting stuff, and seeing if it works and all that stuff. And then you can just come back and, you know, uh, make a clean, clean pass, right? So yeah, uh, I missed a lot of chat. Uh, the way I see it for myself anyway, if I do anything, just just study this finish piece, this every other day, I consider myself on track, yep. That's uh, that, that's the vibe. But yeah, it's it's like uh, you know. I don't think that you become perfect in this because I'm drawing for a long time and I still have that imp talking right. Like when I'm drawing, this motherfucker keeps talking here. Right, this is not good. No, that line is shit. That's dog shit. That's garbage. Uh, I think the the advanced people, uh, what they are be, uh, good at is like you know, you start to you are not ignoring it, by the way, right? It's not ignoring it. You just okay. Let let it talk. If because if you try to suppress it, it will uh, it will come like this. It will come like this big demon, right? Because whatever you suppress comes back, uh, biting your ass much worse, right? It becomes this weird demon, right? Back for revenge. It's like think about it. Uh, even if it's a shit talking imp, that's a part of you, right? That's in your brain, that's in your mind, talking shit. <laughs> you gotta love that, right? So it's like, and think about it, it's also a part of your life energy. And if you think about life energy, you know, you probably seen plants breaking out of the asphalt, right? You can't suppress life energy. So it's it's like, you know, it's like you you start to get along with this guy. Right? Maybe it's it's talking shit and you are just, uh, I mean, not giving a fuck, but at the same time, not ignoring it. Maybe make friends with this guy, right? I don't know. Maybe that, that could be something. Uh, even if I hate what I do in the moment, I know in time confidence will come. Yep. Spock, you are <laughs> Spock, Star Trek in real life. Uh, focus on vibes and ideas. No, I'm, uh, it, th these are not substitutes for each other, right? I'm not saying focus on this. I mean, I'm saying focus on this, but 
what I'm saying is don't ignore this as well. Even if you have the best vibe, like think about children, right? They have the best vibe. They are carefree, joyful. They don't know how to draw or paint. They just do weird stuff, but still looks nice, right? So yeah, it's not ignoring this. It's like, you know, dedicate your life to mastering your craft, whatever. Uh, you know, practice all the technique, all that mechanics, all the stuff. But at the end of today, when you are uh, performing, come from this place, right?